Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be talking about a Citizen that's been on the market for a few years now. I'm talking about the GY8100-80L Pilot Eco Drive model. What really makes this watch interesting to me is the design, the fact that it's made of titanium, all the cool features that it has, and the price. We'll talk about all these things and more right after the intro. As always, when it comes to Seiko, Casio and Citizen watches, I typically buy or borrow them from relojeriaesparza.com. I strongly recommend you check their website, especially if you're based in Europe, as they can give you some very good discounts. I'll leave their contact info in the description below in case you're interested. So once again, what we've got here is the Citizen JY8100-ATL. It's a very cool looking watch, obviously aviation inspired. It's available in a few different configurations. Some are made of steel, while others are titanium. There is a steel blue angel special edition model, which I like very much. And then there is another model, which is also made of steel, but it's PVD coated and it features a green dial. I actually have that one here too, and I'll make sure you have a good look at it as well. Besides the choice of materials, they are all the same, they share the same design, features and dimensions. Speaking of which, these citizens are not small, but they wear exceptionally well, as you'll see in a moment. The case diameter comes at 45.4mm, the thickness is 14.8 and the lug to lug is 49mm. Because of it, as I said, this watch sits very nicely on the wrist, it also feels paper light. With all the links, it weighs only 118 grams. My wrist is 17 centimeters or 6.7 inches. And guys, I really like how it looks and how it wears. If you're looking for a watch with a lot of wrist presence, this Citizen definitely delivers in that department. And you know, I'm pretty sure it will look great even on wrists that are slightly smaller than mine. Next, we've got the build quality and it's very good. The full titanium case and bracelet don't feature any fancy finishing, but they're well machined and feel very smooth to the touch. The crystal is sapphire, and despite having chronograph style buttons, these watches have a water resistance of 200 meters. One thing I really like about Citizen is that they usually come with decent bracelets right out of the box, which is exactly the case we're having here. I like the design, all the links are solid, including the end links. The clasp is also nice, it has a milled scissor portion, and it looks good with the Citizen branding stamped on it. Moving on to the dial, it resembles a plain cockpit, it looks great, but it's a busy one. There's quite a bit going on here and you'll need some time to get used to it. In fact, I still don't know what every single thing on the dial indicates, represents or stands for, but I like the overall layout with the second time zone at 12 o'clock and the two digital displays. I can tell you that cycling through the different modes is not as intuitive as it's on a G-Shock, but it's not super complicated either. You simply have to check the manual a few times until you figure it all out. The only inconvenience is that the crown needs to be used for the most part, and therefore you have to remove the watch from your wrist in order to use some of the features. When it comes to the module that's inside these watches, it's the EcoDrive U680. And guys, there are a couple of things that I really like about it. Firstly, it's solar powered. On a full charge, it can operate normally up to six months. But if you put it in a place with no access to lights, the power save mode kicks in and the watch can stay in that mode for three and a half years. So, Imagine the very unlikely situation where you put your watch in a drawer and you forget about it. Then after three years you remember to take it out. Well, there still should be some battery left in it. The second feature that I like about this module is that it's radio controlled, so accuracy will never be a problem. The rest of the features are quite common. A countdown timer of up to 99 minutes, a stopwatch, two alarms and world time. 
Now, the real reason I decided to review this watch is because, as a G-Shock fan, I really like it and I really want to bring it to the attention of other G-Shock collectors. Because, in my opinion, Citizen and Casio are two brands that complement each other very well. When it comes to titanium radio-controlled G-Shocks, there aren't many to choose from. Not to mention that G-Shock's latest releases, guys, are not very exciting, to say the least. There are the MRGs, but they are a few times more expensive, plus some models like mine, the MRG-G1000DC, are becoming very hard to find. So, if you're looking for a steel or a titanium watch that matches a Casio MTG or even an MRG in terms of features, but costs less, going for one of these citizens instead might be something you want to consider. Having said that, the price of the Titanium Citizen is 690 euro retail, but Relojeria Esparza has it listed for 621. And if you contact them and tell them I send you, they've promised to give you a killer price. Alternatively, look around, check your local IDs. It shouldn't be too difficult to find one of these for quite a bit below retail. Before we are done for today, I just want to say that Citizen is a brand that I already like more than Seiko. The quality is nice, the bracelets are good, they come with sapphire crystals, and the prices are reasonable in my opinion. For that reason, I just purchased my first Citizen. It's the White Dial Fugu Limited Edition, and I'm very much looking forward to receiving it. Of course, when I do, I'll feature it on the channel. How about you guys? What do you think about Citizen? Do you own any? Which ones? Make sure you let me know in the comments below. This is the end of today's video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing in case you haven't already. Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next one.